Hmm? Yo, I'm, so, I'm sorry, man. This dude, uh, uh, little, little Black Book 91, man. Man, you got to get your facts right, man, because I'll be seeing his little, his little stuff he got going on, too. Oh my like, God. the standard moment. No. Hold on. No. Nah, man. This like, like, and then he actually know how the shows go. I feel like 99% of the show is edited to the T for what they want to make it look like. I feel like this was a drama show this season. This was not no connection type show. Don't let me get started on the fact that we are in Miami, but we don't do no Miami shit. No Miami shit. No nah, Miami shit. At all. The only time y'all see <laughs> Miami is when they cutting from one scene to the next. Like, wow. Yeah. Miami is a beautiful city. Y'all don't get to see it though. Nah, nah. It, it's called an edit rated love show. It was too much, it was too much drama show, but you know, just keep watching. And, but it gets good and stuff like that. All the stuff vibing and talking for whatever they want to show. But I don't think this is a this is a this is a uh, changed moment right now. Like this yeah. is a now it's about to get like dynamic. So definitely, definitely keep watching for sure. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> definitely. Wow, but guys. Did you say anything about that other situation? Am I am I muted? No, no. You, I didn't hear the question. You were talking to me. Who you talking to? No, I was asking Sharice if she wanted to talk about what situation. What? Because people are kind of, you know, what we talked about earlier. I mean, I think you said it. They didn't see that Swayze did come to my house. They didn't see um, that Samson was there. Did they show Samson there with? Mm -hmm. um... Okay. They didn't at the same time, they just showed Samson leaving. They didn't show. Him coming to your and they house. didn't show the fact that the reason why I knew what was going on was the fact that he came to my house after that situation. So it wasn't like I was being nosy or I was, you know, I supported everyone's connection on the show. Like I was not trying to, you know, um, have the drama at all. I thought the drama was unnecessary. I didn't want it. I really didn't. But sometimes that's just the way it goes. I, and I think that whole date, because all of us got to, and you guys got to remember, we don't plan the date. Sometimes we don't even know who's going to be on those dates. Like, I was just coming from getting my hair done. I was not expecting. And then I was like, Katie and I had such a great night the night before the whole argument. So I had no idea it was going to turn into that. I was really shocked. Mm -hmm. I was. I thought it was going to be something like, well, maybe we're all coming here to Kumbaya. I didn't know it was going to be a beef. That was a whole rose. <sighs> a whole rose. Just oh, and the dinner part, the dinner was just wild, period. We were there for so long. And I keep seeing comments saying drama sales. And it's not like we understand what Tommy's going to do. We never know what he's going to do or what he's going to tell us to say. Like, that's the shock factor of the show. We don't know. We didn't know he was going to say everybody open up and say something. You didn't see Jamala was the one who went around the room and really started the whole, you know, saying something. But they didn't show that for whatever reason. They only showed her talking to specific people, but she really did go all around the room. And then everybody just kind of followed suit. Well, actually, she, she spoke to me first. That I said. She yeah, spoke she spoke to me first. Wow. She went around everybody. She yeah. told me I dropped the ball first. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> I remember that. Oh, my God. That was funny. Yeah, she said, well, Mike, you dropped the ball. <laughs> you know, I started laughing. <laughs> <laughs> but no, nah, they didn't. She did. They didn't. And I look out of all out of all the stuff that was said. They only show what Jamala, you know, said to Randall for that look. I mean, it, it's stupid, man. I ain't gonna, that shit's stupid to me, man. I'm still just trying to figure out since it is an hour long show, how they can kind of maneuver this because it is only 49 minutes, I think, or something with the commercials. So I do wonder, like, they have to edit it. How do they edit it to fully tell everybody's story in the 49 minutes? You know, well, and that's, that's season hard. two. I think it's hard for sure. Go to season two, so, season three. 20 of us, you know. The um, earlier seasons, they did just that. It, it wasn't until it got to DC that it became where people just wanted to to make it to the end. And that's why I asked you, Caitlin, like, what is, what's the bonus at the end? Is there a bonus? Do you, do you get a sponsorship? Like, what? Because those people from DC... Yeah. I, I told some people don't remember. You get, a, you get, you get a, a relationship. You get a a, a start to love. Yeah. To, you know. 
that's what the, that's and, what's supposed to be the ultimate prize is the start to a, the start to a relationship but uh there's no money there's no sponsorship there's nothing that you actually win um so what you guys do to get to talk to people like you afterwards <laughs> <laughs> so would you do this again knowing what you know now. um Oh, knowing what I know now about about the about the depends. work, all I of that, mean, or about the process and the people. The process and the people. Everything we know. We had this conversation right now. We just we're watching it. They asked you to come on again. The reunion show that I'm talking about. They asked you guys to come on. Let's say you guys didn't make it to the end. You didn't find love. We're asking you to come back. You know how we do things. Are you coming back? I'm booked and busy. <laughs> <laughs> It would have to be under certain pretenses because, yeah, no, it would have to be under certain pretenses because, uh, and it would have to be only working with certain producers because I just can't, you know, I just, I, I can't. I think you guys have to give us credit for the fact that Sh Trinika always said that, like, we survive reality TV. You got to give us credit <laughs> for the fact that we, you know, like, just, just give us a chance. You know, it, it, Miami is a different type of place anyway. You know, every time Ready Love gives something different, it's different people. It's already challenging in real life to date here. Like, it's a lot going on. It's situationships. It's all kind of things. So, you know, it, we're just showing it on the show. And it's it's like we're all just from different places and different things happening. Different age groups, different right different stages in each other's lives like it's this show is not going to guarantee us nothing and i think all of us went in there like open open to the process or the experience you well know, I, I don't think everyone i wouldn't say everyone did but i think the majority of us did genuinely you know was open to the process i wouldn't say everyone but you definitely have to have a thick skin because i think some of these people forget that we're human beings with feelings exactly. <laughs> and uh and that's exactly why I do these lives <laughs> and have this platform for you all to come on and set the record straight to, to let people know that you guys are human. And I always say that this is not a gossip site. This is just people watching reality TV and we just want to talk about it. And so I, um, I want to let Sharice and Mike, Mike, you didn't answer. Are you going back on this show if they ask you again? I just want to answer one question. I just did. Ain't that right, Kelly? Huh? <laughs> Uh, it was it, it it was just the um they keep going in about this this kissing that killer stuff man it's, it's not they, that serious, they, they it's, yeah. I didn't realize in the moment I don't know I hate Mike, it, you though. Said it I hate though. the so, way like, that I'm being portrayed like I am I don't I just don't Wait, like it. Like, just said they only comment on what they see, but what you see is a clip of a 30, 45 minute interaction. So you you're commenting on the four minutes of that exactly. interaction. Yeah. I'm just let's make that clear. Yeah, but Mike, I, mean, I, you know, I got bold. We got Mike on here. I get bold because he's bold. <laughs> I'm with you, Black Book. Mike with the kiss. You Mike. um <laughs> you you saying that it's not that deep. It's like you said it, buddy. It's like yeah, that's why I, it goes listen, back to that listen. question I was asking, like, was there something during that process? Because now watching it, um, <laughs> you can say that you know it's BS and everything like that. But at that time, that day, like what you, cause you, you said it, like you, you said it a couple of times. So what was going through your head at that time? Like, were you trying to be flirty with it or, or like, were you just really like disgusted because this is what's edited, but also the editing shows real life. Like tell us if that was from a different scene or something like that. I haven't heard that, but I just, I want to get down to that before the people can be like, okay, Mike, you know, we're let off. We good. Part of Mike's personality and it just looks like that. I could be wrong, but. No, you're right. You're right, Sharice. Listen, man, Kelly can kiss whoever she want to kiss. For me, I have certain, you know, if I don't want to kiss Kelly on TV, I don't want to kiss on TV. If I don't want no, 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 nobody that, you know, that's not kissing anybody, it's not a big deal. But at the same time, that's in real life too. I'm quite sure if you had a dude, you would do the same, you do the same thing too. Yeah, so what's the difference because somebody on TV saying it? Cool. You know, if you, if you kiss on TV, cool, no problem. If you don't, Kiss in real life, okay, okay, cool, no problem. If you want somebody that ain't kiss nobody, that's cool. 
That's just this how I felt at the time. Like you can't take no way you can't take away how I feel at the time, you know, and, and you know, if we probably don't have a connection or it don't work out, or if it did, or if I say, okay, I'm kissing random lips. I'm being funny at that time. See, they didn't show none of the right. funny stuff. I was just being funny, you know. So that's just how I feel at the time. I want to go back and change it. I'll say the exact same thing. Like in the real world, that's me in the real world. It's not no controlling thing. I've never I never controlled any woman. Like control for what? Like a control a woman for what? Can, believe me, Kelly don't look like no pot, nobody that you, you can control. Like, you know, she, she told you we were having conversations, you know, talking every day, like after, you know, the scenes we had and everything like that. So I'm not controlling. Like, a, a kiss is a kiss. Cool. No problem. I just, that's just how I felt at the time. And I'll say it again. It's like, they, they, it's like they would want you to do it, but not everybody's like that. Not saying, you know, it's, it's my preference. It's like, it's her preference. Like Kelly said, you're dating. Cool. All right. All right. Samson and that tulip kiss. <laughs> oh, 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 let me clear this up. Yeah, and then, um, Samson I think what? Was that was... <laughs> I had already heard about that. <laughs> what she yeah, so. Samson made a joke out of the tulip kiss, you know, oh, the accidental oh, yeah. kiss thing. So as you can see, they're trying to highlight all these kisses. Mike wasn't the only guy that had a problem with the kissing. I mean, I don't know. <laughs> I just think it's silly. I that's why I said maybe I was on the wrong show, and I just watched dated and related last night. And I was like, why well, was I on that show? But I just think that um, <laughs> yeah, like I said, I just didn't see it. You're not gonna it. take personal what's highlighted because we know what really happened. We do know what really <laughs> happened, yes, but all of that stuff did really happen too. Like a lot of the ways that people are feeling is how I felt in the moment too. Like why does it right. keep coming up? You know, mm -hmm. we talk about other things and they don't show that, but if it didn't come up then they wouldn't have it to show and they would have to show other things what that we happened. talked about. Mm -hmm. But because it kept coming up as a producer, I mean, that's more interesting than any deep conversation that you had and that's why I'm that's why I'm like uh frustrated about it because they they couldn't have used it if we didn't do it. If it didn't happen, they couldn't have used it. But they use it because it kept happening. So that's what I'm saying. Those are things you don't think about when you go on reality TV and you, you have three hour long conversations. You don't know what parts they're going to take and not going to take. And that's why I said if I did it again, it would have to be under certain, certain circumstances of me knowing that I can only say certain things on camera so that I can only give them certain content to use. Mm hmm they don't know me. They don't right. know my humor. They don't know my, me just being flirty and fun. And it's, oh, Kayla's so sexual. Everyone, like, I'm flirty with everyone, with the women, too. <laughs> so with women, too. So it's just like, that's just my personality. But that doesn't mean that I'm into you. Right. <laughs> so many people have been so sadly mistaken to think that that means that I'm into you. That does not mean I'm into you. You know what I mean? But they... But they portray it the way that they want to portray it. So that's what we get. And then we have to just kind of deal with it afterwards. That is mm. crazy. But we also don't get to pick our dates. We don't get to pick our dates. So please remember that as well as time goes on. Um, we don't know the location sometimes. We don't know who's going to be there. I had no idea that date where Katie and I had to exchange who was going to be there. I was shocked. So, and I mean, that's something we can say, like, clearly. Mm -hmm. Well, we can definitely say that, you know. And, like, so when you see someone say, so oh, I invited you here. You know exactly. If they, they say, oh, I invited you here, you know. Behavior. It's possible they invited that person and planned that date, but it's very possible that they didn't. Oh. You know, so when they say, oh, thanks for coming, it's kind of like, I didn't know this was going to be happening. I didn't know this was going to be here. I did not invite you <laughs> Right. You know, I'm just doing. My date with LJ. Wait, I can't hear I think you. You muted yourself. You muted I said yourself. That date with LJ. The date with LJ turned into his date, but it was really my date. Mm. Yeah, that you planned. So you just don't never know. Oh wow, Mike, did you feel like you were in a competition? No, it, it, it was it was a um, 
I mean, it was a, it was a, it was an evenly played field. Everybody picked, everybody gelled who they wanted to gel with. It wasn't no competition for me because like all the guys, I didn't have a problem with all the guys. Like me and me and Randall, like we we real cool and stuff like that. So I don't feel like no competition. Was was the process like hard for you or or? Nah, it, it's not nothing. It wasn't hard. It was easy. It's just like you know what Kelly was saying. They only gonna want to play the the mess or the things that they feel that's gonna bring drama, you know, or make a person look at you a certain type of way. So it's not a happy show, or anything like that. At least to now. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. I'm hopeful that there'll be some really good happy moments. Yeah. But you know, um, we just have to wait and see because there are some genuinely good moments. But um. I just think that's hard to see. And I think the audience also, like, uh, the audience just has double standards. Mm -hmm. They have double standards because things that they do in their normal life, they are judging us for doing on this show or not doing, you know? And so that's kind of frustrating because it's kind of like, stop it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like, yeah. Stop it. Come yeah. on now. Like, and then they spend so much that time part. talking about our clothes and our hair and our makeup. It's just like, oh, that's not the point that we're here. We are regular people. <laughs> that's it right there. I don't care what nobody say about me because I know who I am. I know who I am. was before this show, and I know who I'm going to be after this show. So holla at me. <laughs> <laughs> that's right. Okay. If anyone talking shit, I know I look good. There's nothing that you can say. You know that to to yeah. bring me down. And, and Mike and Kayla got it going on. Oh, yeah. I already know. I've been I've been pulling numbers before the show. I'm still pulling numbers after the show. So I already been on social media before all this was going down. Matter of fact, even when the show started, I took my page down because I want to go in there regular. I ain't coming there saying, "Hey, we my name." You, you didn't take yeah, down cool. fast enough. No, no, it was cool. They, it was cool. Ladies but I, I never... <laughs> they know they love it. Ah, <laughs> right, you know. Found your page. <laughs> Yeah, I, I I don't think that that was a. <laughs> I think that was interesting though. Uh, social media. My agent. friends be like, "Well, what happened with him? Is he available?" <laughs> 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 they be like, "What? I can't wait to see what happened with him." I'm like, "Stay tuned." Yeah, just tell, just tell, just tell them keep watching. Y'all gotta keep, yeah, watching. keep watching. And this Friday, we'll see you guys. Um, you guys, they're gonna be meeting the exes this Friday, right? So hopefully yeah. you get some time from everybody. Yeah, 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 the, yeah, the, the truth teller, not the exes, but the truth teller. Oh, the not truth teller. Exes and yeah. truth teller. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right. Well. The funniest one is LJ and Trinika. When Trinika said, when did you guys last have sex? She said last month. Uh, I've never seen that. Mind you, we never, this is the first time, the first time y'all see it is the first time I saw it. When I saw that shit, I was like, what? Because like Trinika was like me, she kept things close to the vest in the um in the ladies' lounge. So I never knew. Like we, no, all of us are seeing this. Okay. I was like, mm -hmm. <laughs> I know, I know. You know, I, I was somebody did say like, you know, it's still something going on there. <laughs> but hey, I can't blame her, right? LJ is a great guy. He's a good catch. He is as well. Nika said great. it's going to be good. So I want to thank you, um, Mike and oh, Sharice yes. for hopping on. I'm going to let you guys Thanks exit out so us. I can right. close with right. Kayla. Thank Love you. Y'all, Mike Kayla. is going to be gone now. Y'all keep up the good work. Thank Love you for you guys. Thank you. Platform for us. Thank you, Sharice. Wow. Yes, honey. It's a lot that y'all don't get to see. It's super frustrating me watching it back, especially things I didn't have any kind of control over. Mm -hmm. um, I hate they have this, uh, you know, I hate that they're doing it like this, but I do think that people that are really paying attention at least can see like a little bit of who I am, um, that I really am a very outgoing, fun, bubbly, like like to have fun kind of person, but when it comes to like emotions, I'm very sensitive. So I'm very kind of closed off and it takes a lot for me to open up. And so maybe that's what for the people that are going like, oh, you know, Kayla's just, you know, yeah, because I was just, um, it takes me some time to trust people. And especially after trust was broken in certain situations, you know, it was just kind of tough for me. Um, but I will say that I was following the rules. Yes, ma'am. 
you know, of the process, and maybe not all of us were, but I was following the rules. I was doing the process. I'm glad I did the process the way I did. And uh, y'all just have to keep watching it. Get, it's 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 about to take a turn. All so. Right. Yeah. And we're watching. Thank you so much for sitting down with me with this surprise interview. Um, I hope you definitely come back. I'm I'm trying to put together a reunion show um, review, like but have the cast on there for you guys. So I hope you definitely come back and talk with us. Make sure you guys are following Kayla. Make sure you're following all of her 